there, welcome to the Urban Falls HQ uh, and this time we're doing a special edition for Easter something for you guys to do with your kiddos uh, to have you know some fun in the morning when you just wake up and they wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning and they want to look for, for, for eggs or something you want to you know spend some more time uh, before giving them all that chocolate so it's a little taster uh, brought to you by Club Penguin they sent us all the stuff and some and a very cool little recipe for us to try out. So basically, what we're gonna be doing is puffle nests. And what you're gonna need to do that is, first of all, 300 grams of cooking chocolate. We like kind of darkish to give it a bit of more taste. Uh, you're gonna need 100 about 130 grams of Rice Krispies. Okay, you will need one pack of color, colored, uh, ready-made, ready-made roll, you know, for, of icing to do the puffles with it. You're gonna need one lump of white uh, icing. This one lump is just to do the ice. You're gonna need about 50 grams. You don't need all that, but hey, anyways. And you're going to need a black icing pan, a sugar pan like that or you can just do the eyes later with the black icing if you want and you're gonna need some nests some some paper cases to do the nests on so first thing we do you get the chocolate and melt it how are you gonna do that first you can either put it on the stove for a few minutes on boiling water just to make sure it's it, it melts don't cook it just want it to melt or you can just do as I do it, put it on the microwave for a bunch of 30 seconds while you mix with a spoon. So basically, we're gonna be lazy and we're gonna do that. You gotta keep moving to make sure you don't leave any lumps uh, to melting chocolate. Give it a little mix and put it back for another 30 seconds. Right, you see, it's all melted and splodgy. You know, no lumps. There are a few little lumps still, but whatever. We're gonna do something quick. So, now, next thing we do is we put it all in the rice krispies. Make sure they are completely coated with chocolate. Right, and then you divide them in the little paper cups. When you do that, well, it's easy if you use a muffin tray, but you know, it's me. Make sure you leave a little hollow on the middle, because that's where our puffles are going to set on. Right. Next thing you do is you're gonna get the tray. And you're gonna dump it inside the fridge for a little while for your nest to settle. Right, <coughs> while the nests are settling, uh, we are going to do the puffles. And I'm gonna tell you what to do now. Pause. <laughs> okay, the next thing you do, you're gonna get the icing oh my and you're going to make balls. Oh, why don't you just talk slow? I don't talk slow. You can make like different sizes and stuff. You can make like a few big ones and a few small ones. Doesn't matter, they're not all the same size. Next thing you do, you know, puffles are not really just round like they are, they? So basically, what you do is you get a scissor and give it a bit of a snip, I don't know, to make. Four little pointy heads, or oh, no, five little points on the head, like that. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be like the hair of the puffle. So, you're gonna do that. That's gonna be puffle one. Of course, you're going to realize as well that there are puffles don't have eyes yet. So basically what you're going to do is, you get some of the white thing 
And you're gonna do loads of tiny little balls as well. Loads of tiny. Then, what you're gonna do with the solid little balls is you're gonna just add them to the puffle face. Yay! My puffles have big eyes. And you're going to get a pen and draw right in the middle Yay! the eyes of the puffle. Ta -da! Then, next thing you do, of course, you're going to do the same thing in all of them. Oh, this one has something on his eye. Poo thing. Oh, it's you. Of course, I'm not gonna do all of them now, but that's how they're supposed to look. Daddy. While we're doing that, the things should have settled already. So what we do is we get the puffles and settle them on top of the nest. in the middle of the hole that we left before. And as I said, you can either put just the one on top or you can make two smaller ones and put two snuggling up together. But because I know my kids, you know, I'm just gonna put the one on top. Help me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the puffle surprise. The puffle nesting surprise. Uh, we're going to be doing loads more here for my niece and everyone else to eat here. But those are reserved for two special little kids that are going to be seeing in two seconds. Let's see how they like it. Now. Right, I'm here now with two monkeys. The two monkeys that I made to start for. You know those two cheeky monkeys here. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to open the little surprise and we're going to see if they like it or not. Cool? Cool. You want to do it then? Yes. This is the day. Uh -huh. the final day. Uh -huh. No, 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 don't peek. Just look. Oh no! Oh crap! Oh no! Look what happened! What? Um, <laughs> they were supposed to be puffle nests. And they melted. <laughs> um. Get one of the puffles. <laughs> Do you like the puffle? No. <laughs> Why? It's not like the real ones. Well, yeah, but they are eatable puffles. Ah. Yeah, eat it. Mm. Like it? Is that good? <laughs> you gonna try the nest? Or should we just try and put it in the fridge later? <laughs> what? Put it in the fridge. Okay. Oh no. The puffle nest died. Ew. Well, never mind. That's probably the intention, isn't it? Well, we can make some more. Yeah, we can make some more. And you can can check it out on the blog. I'm going to have all the recipe over there. And maybe you can do it right this time. And that's you, Yuri. And Tommy. And little one here. And we say what? Did you like them? I did. What do you say? Um, bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Get your hands off my coke. Get your finger off my coke. Someone else likes to eat buffles. <laughs>